What is up, Captains and Cadets? We got another new ship. They just keep on rolling out. Today, we got the Fimble Bios Ranger. And this is a medium class scanner ship. And I want to do a comparison with the medium class scanner ship that we already have, the Pieces Opod. Let's get into it. Let's go. What's up, Madonis and Oosters? We have another new ship, another data runner. It is the Fimble Bios Ranger. This one right here I came across when I went to the marketplace. I usually catch wind of a new ship release on X, on Twitter X, but this one I happened to go to the marketplace to um, sell some raw resources that I mined in Starbase. And lo and behold, this little placard right here was right in front of me. Um, the graphic has a little bit of a write up about the ship it and the bios ranger uh we talked about the ship it a little bit in my last recap video if you haven't watched that you can go ahead and check it out right there but I, what i wanted to do is i wanted to know wow another medium uh scanner ship i was surprised not to see you know a different class scanner ship uh, we already have one medium scanner ship and that is this visus opod right here there's only three scanner ships right now i believe there is the visus opod there is the fimble bios ranger and then finally there is this one, a small class ship, the Opal Ray Fam, but we're gonna be concentrating on the two medium class ones. It's not really a big deal that it's a medium class ship and that we have two medium class scanner ships because we have a ton of uh, combat ships in each class level. Why not have a couple different scanner ships in each class level, right? And the medium class ships are affordable um, to, um, I, I guess, the mid, mid range player. So it's not a bad uh, class ship to actually have another release in. So I love that the uh, medium class and the small class is kind of my price range, you know? Um, so the Fimble Bios Ranger, let's read a little bit about it. Information is worth double its cost in Atlas. Lesson number 84 of the most successful guide of common sense learning for the benefit of space exploration. I need to get my hands on that manual right there. It says, post-convergence war, the medium risk zone has never been more unpredictable, but fear not, Captain. The Ranger, Fimble's groundbreaking medium data runnership is designed for those who navigate the galaxy's dangers with wisdom and speed. It's the industry's most affordable data runner in its class. Hmm. I'll question that in a second equipped for rapid scanning and swift evasion ensuring you're always one step ahead of cosmic threats with the ranger you invest not just in a ship but in the safety and success of your fleet it's unmatched scanning speed and agility make it a must-have for any captain aiming to conquer the unknown without risking it all join the smart navigators turning challenges into opportunities secure your ranger today and sail the stars with confidence so that's the write-up about the Ranger, and let's check out some of the concept art right here. I can't wait to see this one in the showroom, man. So this is pretty cool, man. This I, I really like that this ship is, is a... It's a wild style right here. It's completely offset. You can see that the bridge right here is... I guess if, if you're... If, if you're flying it, it will be on the left. If you're facing it right here, it's on the right, but it's not in the dead center. And the whole thing is not... Um, uh, symmetrical i couldn't spit it out there for a sec yeah so the ship isn't even symmetrical either so not only is it offset but the two sides of the ship are completely different um you can see that it has the two different scanner um like basically the radars on one in the front and one kind of offset on the i guess that would be the right side if you were flying it um and you can see right here the little guys right here so that gives you a little bit of a scale of the size there's one little guy right here and one little guy right here there i shrunk myself down a little bit so you can see a little bit better right here um here's kind of an overhead view right here I like the colors on it. I don't know why. Okay, so I love BIOS, by the way. Um, some people don't because they're like, Ugh, it's just Star Wars. You know, all this is a Star Wars. But that's that's for me, man. They're making it for me. Um, I am a Star Wars kid, um, proud and true. And not the not the different. I'm I'm from the very beginning. Um, I'm I'm old enough that I was watching Star Wars in the movie theaters, the first original three trilogy. So um, I've grown up with it for that long. So this this ship is for me. I also love the original Star Trek. So I kind of like the old clunky '70s style ships. Um, these are just perfect, right up my alley. Um, th so here it, I like this one right here. It actually is showing like scanning right here, looking for some survey data units, I suppose. Um, here's some overheads with some different uh, color schemes right here. I still like the this blue one right here. I, I do like this one right here with the orange and the, I guess yeah, that's like an aqua blue right here. I dig it. I like the star too. This is a full front on. You can see how, you know, how offset it is right here. How non-symmetrical it is, which I like. Um, if you're OCD, man, you're going to be like, this isn't for me. There's the back with the big old jets, the big old thrusters. Digging it, digging it. 
this one's kind of looks like there's actually an extra radar right here and right here so and there was the one on the front so there is oh yeah there's one right here there's a radar right here and there's one right there there's three of them i didn't catch that at first there it is it's got like some little box right here giving out some type of uh scanning rays of some sort not from the actual radar itself this is a really nice shot right here love that i should use that in the thumb if you see it in the thumb you got my idea right there in the back with the thrusters again on a landing pad from the rear the more i stare at this man the more i really really dig this ship i thought i liked the ray fam like was my favorite scanner and i don't know of course it's always a new ship this is my new favorite nice little sky shot right there and then the blueprints um i won't read this right here but it's basically the write-up that um I, I i the description that i read uh just a little blurb from that really cool though i like how they make it look like it's just like an old like an old uh blueprint that maybe you like comes with the ship you know that's been around for a while this is old the ship dig that super cool stuff man so um bios now what is bios um if you're wondering what bios i believe it means build your own ship is what it stands for fimble bios a manufacturer that works with the yorvik pirates focused on contraband military tech it will only support those initiated into the yorviks native to the medium and high risk zones so that's what um that's the alignment for the bios ships right there um I want to read this risk real fast these couple paragraphs although a small part of the galaxy is able to live a very comfortable and fulfilling life this is not the reality for most of the citizens outside of the low risk zones the population of the world's left to their own fate and have faced many challenges in the last decades after being cut off from the intergalactic economy and law systems most of the planets and colonies in the inner reaches have been controlled by a regional warlord rogue factions such as the Yorvix and the Ecos and submitted to their harsh rules. So yeah, so this is a, a ship that goes with the lore of uh, that little paragraph right there. Um, now let's do a quick little peek at, sorry, let me close this out right here, at uh, what this is all about. So um, the total supply is 3,313 and its original price is 2,795 in USD. Um, it's 25% off from um, Star Atlas right now. So you can save yourself 25% off if you're totally digging this ship and you can save another 10% if you use my Star Path link down below in the description. I'll talk about that at the end of the video, um, but um, it's, yeah, it's a pretty good deal on the ship at the moment because it'll cost you a lot more in the future. But let's take a quick peek over at the Vesis Opod. Now, it said it's the most affordable. And you can see right here, the original uh, origination price of the Vesis Opod was only $1,500. But we'll talk about something about that price in very few minutes here, okay? Um, now, the total supply of the Opod, it was only 1900 available, um, a lot less than this um, 3313 of the BIOS Ranger. But both these ships have a very small um, amount of them available um i mean 3313 is not a lot of ships for sale at all i'm, I'm assuming that these are going to sell out pretty darn quick all right and then let's keep on going right here um so this is the fimble bios it's a the rarity is a rare it's a rare data runner ship in the medium class let's take a peek over at this opod again it's a rare data runner in the medium class so pretty much the same right there um while we're on the opod we're just going to look it has five it comes with five crew members a pilot navigator a science officer and two weapons operators and you can see that it's the same for the ranger one pilot navigator science officer and two weapon operators now this is the stuff that really counts right the components and the modules so we have we're going to go three at a time we have a power core a warp drive and a sub warp engine all medium slots right for the ranger and we have a power core a warp and a sub warp all medium slot for the opod so both the same we have a maneuvering thruster one maneuvering one shield generator one heat sink all medium we have a maneuvering a shield and a heat sink all medium so those are all the same Oop. um one scanner array one tractor beam and one hull reinforcement all medium let's check the opod one scanner array one tractor beam and one hull reinforcement all medium slots all right now let's get into the weapons three fixed hard point small i'm gonna go one at a time right there three fixed hard point small this one right here has two fixed hard points small but then it, then it has another two fixed hard points extra small so instead of three it has two and two um let's see it has one turret hard point medium the ranger 
and this has two turret hard points small so you can see that there's just a little bit of a difference right there um between you know one might have a, a, a bigger class um a weapon but then the other one has more of the smaller classes so we have two small slot missile bays this one has two small slot missile bays so nothing different right there and then we have one countermeasure uh, medium and two countermeasure small over here we have one countermeasure medium and two countermeasure small so those are the same and then we have a two drone port small right here and we have one drone point medium so again it has one but it's a larger one and the other one has the ranger has two but it's small now modules so we have three fuel medium slot we have four fuel medium slot and that's it for the modules but this one has one less medium slot but it comes with a cargo slot so these two ships are very very close as far as star based goes I might lean towards the Ranger because the Ranger has that extra cargo slot. It won't be able to go as far as far as the fuel goes. But when like the way Starbase works, you know, you can stay out longer, keep on scanning and you have that one extra cargo hold to fill up with SDUs. And um, as far as these th these these ships go right here, if you have a data runner ship, it doesn't need toolkits in order to scan for SDUs. So it saves you a whole bunch of loot as far as buying toolkits in Starbase. You don't have to worry about that. You can just fill fill the tank up with fuel, send it out, you know, into no man's land. If you're using a um, uh, lab assistant right there, you can just set it up. So it's just start scanning, 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 and it'll just keep scanning and fill up its whole entire cargo. And since this has that one extra cargo bay, I'm assuming it can stay out there longer and come back with more SDUs. So that's pretty darn cool, right? Now, let's look at the actual price of the Visus Opod. What can you get a Visus Opod for right now if you want to purchase one? Now, this I thought was really interesting. So the Visus Opod, we, we talked about there isn't very, there wasn't very many available. Um, now, look, Star Atlas is not selling any more Visus Opods at the moment. Um, there isn't any more to even buy through Automata, through the Star Atlas team. So you actually have to buy a peer-to-peer. -peer. And you can get them, get one for a lot cheaper than a Ranger. You can get one for $930 bucks, um, USD. And there is only right here, one, two, three, four, five available. And that's it on the market. I'm trying to scroll down. I can't scroll down anymore. And there's one more um, in Atlas right here that you can actually purchase. So there's six total. When those six are gone, unless someone else puts another one in the market, um, there is no more Visa Sopod to be actually be bought up, you know, so that's it for, you know, six. So when they're saying it's the most affordable one in the class, well, very soon, it very well could be the most affordable Visa, uh, you know, like medium class scanner that you possibly get. Because if, if, if someone doesn't put one in the market, the next Visa Sopod could, you know, could go for $20,000. We don't even know. Now, here is Star Atlas's uh, post on X about the Ranger right here. It says there's a new data runner ship ready to conquer the unknown, introducing the Fimble Bios Ranger equipped with rapid scanning and swift, swift evasion, ensuring you're always a step ahead of the cosmic threats. Get yours at 25% discount while supplies last. And you can see here it is right here um, being offered by Star Atlas. It's funny, it says 10%, but this is the price right here at 25% off at $2,096 in USD right here. And if you use my StarPath link, you will save another 10% and I'll bring it underneath $2,000. Um, you'll save yourself roughly $209 if you use my StarPath link or if you use anybody's StarPath link. Make sure you use someone's StarPath link because it'll save you that 10%. There's a lot of content creators that are just as happy as I am if you use the StarPath link or um you know devs uh, creators out there such as i made a video yesterday for eve i you'll see that they have their own star path link that they offer also hey guys if you want to save 10 percent on star atlas ships and also help out my channel there's an easy way to do it all you have to do is go to my channel and you can click on any of my videos such as the one you're watching right now and you go down to the description and in the description you will see my star path link 10 percent you click on that link right there it brings you right to the star atlas marketplace once you are in the star atlas marketplace you can buy anything from the star atlas store and you will be linked to my wallet and eligible to save 10 percent for three months so this offer is only available when you're buying something directly from the star atlas team you can see that right here in light blue with the star atlas symbol this does not work peer to peer but even if you buy something peer to peer using my star path link your wallet will be available for this offer for three months which is pretty awesome and those peer to peer ships are running out quick according to the development team. Also, Star Atlas is always dropping new ships and plans to drop a whole bunch of new ships very recently. So, your wallet will be linked and ready to buy those new ships with a 10% discount. Thank you guys so much by doing this. It helps out my channel greatly, and I always appreciate it. I love all of you guys that have already subscribed to my Star Path link. Thank you very much. Let's get back into it. So, anyway, guys, please like, please subscribe. I'll keep on pumping out these videos. So, you want to make sure you're subscribed, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Later.